Hello everybody, my name is Nathan from the Pixel Factory and welcome back to another video. Now this video is the Duster How I Built the Map video. I don't know what a word to replace that phrase with. But uh, if I press F5 real quickly, boom, command blocks. Now, you guys can understand real quickly why I wanted you all to uh, have it rendered in 16 chunks because that's where you start, that's the spawn, that's the arena. And these command blocks all the way down here are um, uh, the very end, so... 16 chunks approximately and so that's why you needed to have the map working anyway this is the arena where you start in very simple right here is the um uh, is the uh, in, um, <laughs> tongue twisted this right here is the lobby animation so this block right here test to see if you're standing on wait let me just break a wall in the hole in the wall real quickly here bonk bonk so that purple block out there, purple command block, tested to see if you are standing on the solid blue block, which is the blue stained clay. And if you were, it would spawn a command block here, running this whole long train of commands. It would run those train of commands, and also break the redstone block that was powering this one. So, it w so if you walked over those things again, it wouldn't do the whole command over again and whatnot. Anyway, animation command. Block, 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 spawn, 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 glowstone spawned, text, block, 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 goldstone, goldstone, text, text, block, 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 glowstone, block, 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 glowstone, block, 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 glowstone, 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 all that with glowstone. And you can see the animations from the outside. Those weren't set off by the, those weren't triggered by the animation. Those were always running. You just couldn't see them. This is uh, this is how everything's run in the back. This is how the levels are run. So I press the level button and spawns a block here, which runs all of these commands, which turn on the various circuits in the back. I'll get to those later. And then and then uh, once you say, hey, I played level one, and then once you beat level one, a block is spawned here, a block is spawned here, a redstone block, which extends this piston. So if you were to place a redstone block there. The, the uh, circuit would run through run through this block because if I place a redstone block there I'm not going to run the command now but if I place a redstone block there the, uh, the repeater is going to run the command through this block and run the commands and that's how I pretty much set up the level select unlock or level unlock feature this goes through all the levels all six of them this is the commands for the reset of the lobby these are the commands for all those things hard, normal Shout out, lobby reset, all that stuff. These are the commands that turn on these that turn on levels. It spawns a block and then deletes the block, so it can be spawned, the block can be spawned again. This was how it. Um, this was how it unlocked the. Um, this is how it unlocked the wall in the back, the wall right there. That wall was unlocked through this, because originally, as soon as you beat the first level, a redstone block would be spawned here. Which would run all of these commands, keep this timer running, run all these commands instantly. Timer would go, and then all the commands would be fixed, which pretty much would turn on the command. So it started running its command, and then it would stop the block, and then it would take it off, and then it would destroy the block. And that's how these commands would run. Like, look at that. It's all retro style, frame by frame. And that's how I essentially fixed these commands. This was a failed system. These command blocks are actually empty. You can check all of them. They're actually empty. There's nothing in these old suckers. That was a or that was the original idea for the level select, but it ended up not working. This right, this building right here was going to be the old spawn. I was like, you know what? Too small. I need to go bigger. Here, right there, old lobby. Don't touch historic. Quite historic. That's the very beginning of the game. This was the old. How this is this was before and how I cleared the map. It spawns a redstone block here, which cancels the circuit and then it resets itself so it cancels the circuit from looping around again because what happens here are these four blocks are done starts the circuit which goes down here loops around and then these first four blocks that spawn are redone again and it just loops around like that um this redstone block right there was just a test this real block right here teleports me forward if i turn on my f3 you can see my um my y coordinate or x coordinate drops significantly we fly down here. These were all the circuits commands I had running. 
This guy's right here is the wave command, as labeled by the wave. And I figured since I uh, I, mis I initially had a I had a uh, thing going around, but since I figured that would have worked, since uh, I'd have to make a gap here and it would all not have worked, and I had to make it go at a faster tempo than just than the previous ones, previous circuits. Since the previous circuits were longer, this is only one block wide in the direction it was going. And I figured I had to make more of them in the level and had them have them had a faster loop. So I made this fancy circuit at the beginning where you take a redstone block, you spawn it here. It does the commands, loops back around and does the commands again. And that's probably the ideal way I'm that's probably how I'm gonna do them all from now. Because it definitely re leaves room for longer trains, longer loops. What well, you may be wondering what these great patches are on the ground. Well I'll tell you. Teleporters. Since if I was I was building stuff all the way down there, and I was like, oh, let's go test to see if it works. I wasn't going to fly all the way back there. No, I'm too lazy to do that. So I installed a uh, test for command, which tests to see if I'm on top of these gray stained clays. And if I am, it would teleport me right about here. And that's how, uh, that's how I was able to get back and forth. Just me being lazy and innovating to solve that laziness. These are the three commands that run the entire game. Test to see if you're on top of red block. Send you back to sp send you back to the uh, uh, beginning of the level. Add a fail. Those are what the three blocks do, and they do it in succession. So if you're setting on a red block, this and this happen. All right, and it always and this is always testing, always checking, because as you can see, this command block set to repeat, which means if it's receiving power, it'll check 20 times in a second or every single tick. Very, 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 very um, quick. These are the other uh, shoot. These are the other commands. This is the gray. This is the gray one, which teleports me, and this is the yellow one, which teleports me farther down that way. I went over those. These are the C these are level selectors from the other side, but on this side, these are the individual circuits. As you can see, I'm using the wave, I'm using the wave circuit as as preferred to the um, uh, to the uh, vertical circuit. I'm telling you, like this weather always keeps turning off, turning on, and I'm like, why? Slash toggle, downfall, we're good. Anyway, these are the circuits using the wave circuit, wave loop instead of the vertical loop, which um, uh, which is how I got all these animations. Like as you can see, that's the uh, here you go. That's the uh, that's the one going down. That's the um, that's the shooter. That's the bouncer. And then on the other end, we can very visibly see the slider and the wave. Ah, and before I forget, um, I need to do an in-depth uh, review on how all these work, in-depth explanation on how all these work. Oh uh, man, the smooth, cast, smooth craft texture pack looks really good. Alright, this is the shooter one. So, block gets spawned here, moves, moves, places a block, alright? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run a demonstration. So, each command block stands for frame. Frame is four ticks long. Frame one, block spawned. Frame two, second block spawned. Frame three, third block spawned. Frame four, fourth block spawned. Now, the fifth frame is where things are a little fancy. As you can see, that's fifth frame is where the second row starts. Weird block out here for some reason. And the rest of the frame is in line. First, this side is in line. At this point, a block would be placed here, and at the same time, a block would be placed in the back. So it looked from going from here to this position. So it looks like it moved ahead, because both those breaks happen instantaneously. Next frame, that happens. And so as you can see, the thing's moving forward. And that's how I essentially got my thing. Up here, this block was just moved to there, and then it's all been looped around. Fail safe, so when this extends, repeater signal can't go through an extended piston, so it cuts it off, and that's how I stop all my mechanisms. I have to go through and individually place a redstone block at here, and type in the command to the fail safe, fail safe, um, fail safe kill switch series of commands right over there. Anyway, guys, I've been Nathan from the Pix Factory. Hope you enjoyed this very quick, very thorough explanation. Or actually, I wouldn't say very thorough. Very quick, very speedy explanation. I really need to get this done in time just because I'm having computer problems and I'm kind of close on time and et cetera, et cetera. Excuse, excuse. I should be making excuses, but there they are. <clears throat> if you have any questions about how I built all this stuff, I could make a follow-up video going over specific details about why. It'll be very short, of course. And I could also answer you in the comments if they're very simple questions. I've been Nathan from the Pix Factory. This has been all for my Duster Map. Again, map download in the description. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.